Welcome back, my dear friends, to Alan Wake 2, the final draft. We're back with Saga now. Actually, I wanted to check. Oh, learn more about the clicker. Well. Okay. Do the profiling thing then, maybe. No. Case board. Wake just gave us a lot of information, but this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. Well then, where is the clicker? Yeah, yeah. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. Uh -huh. Okay. Switch cases. Lunch boxes. Because it's Finding a, thing. a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Okay, fair enough. Nursery rhymes. Creepy dolls. Mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Okay. Okay, that goes in strange dolls. So does that. And the hero <clears throat> doll. Okay, okay, okay. are these? Who made them? Bear with me, this will um, take but a moment. Saga. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. Strange. And that, that always goes well. But it's exactly what the FBC are most known for. It's yeah, but I suppose Saga's never heard of them before. And has certainly not played control. Why would she have? 
after all. Okay, previous murders. Hmm. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Probably should have done this before, but you know. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. <coughs> this case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. Yes, you will. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. I suppose if you are a cop or an FBI agent of some These sort, could contain clues that's the, the thing to be excited about, keep an but eye out for more. I don't know, it seems a bit weird to me. On the other hand, with what I know about Saga, she is a bit weird anyway. So, Cult of the Tree now. I need to know more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Cult psychology. Um, cult symbols. There we go. Doesn't look right. They could be followers of Scratch. <laughs> Okay. And now the story. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. It happens from Why time to time. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Because they're convoluted and annoying as well. Wake was trapped in the dark place for 13 years. Yes, he was. <sighs> Entity called the Dark Presence. The Dark Place. A dimension that's home to monsters. <sighs> Wild stuff. <clears throat> God damn it. Light and the dark presence. Ah, not more. Hmm. Scratch and the dark presence are interchangeable. Thanks, Saga. Fiction coming into contact with the dark place. There we go. Uh, if we don't stop it, Scratch will really screw things right sure. up. 
and we need the clicker because it saved the day once before 13 years ago it's all on the page the clicker the cult okay I'll head to watery and find this trailer Casey you stay here and keep an eye on mr. Wake got it no you need me there no dice pal this is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. <laughs> okay, from now on, you can switch between Alan and Saga's stories via the bucket in the janitor's break room. Let's stick with Saga's saga for now. Because... Why not? It's oh, fun. Okay. Hello. Past favorite Deerfest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. <laughs> Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. Forgotten about bopping, dude. So who's in for a bet this year? A hundred bucks says there will be at least one fender bender between the floats. For that amount of money, you cause it yourself. Yeah, I'm not taking that wager. <laughs> Too many opportunities for interference. Dancing through a bin. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages. <coughs> and let the adventure begin! Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Oh! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. <laughs> Seriously. It's not amusing. <laughs> Take in amazing views from the slow road through Ferris Wheel. I can almost see the Warrior Lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. This is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry. For that. Have you tried unplugging it? Professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Why, why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. Go to the toilet in the corner. Yeah, I'm not unplugging it. You're fixing it. Of course, sir. You can always unplug it while you're not using it and plug it back in if you want to watch something, dude. It's not that difficult. I swear I brought my phone kid along. Jules, you didn't forget to pack the EMF reader, did you? Why would I pack your gear? I've got my own to worry about. Great. Now how am I supposed to measure the energy signatures emitted by paranormal manifestation? Thoughts. Donna, how are you? I've got chronic back pain from 
Ah, poor Pat Main. Hello, how's it going? That's weird. And here we have a trio of paranormal investigators. I can't wait to hit the haunts. We should check the town out first. You know, do research, interview some locals. Get the feel of the place. Not before I find my frickin' EMF reader. <sighs> well, let's head to Watery then. in front of Wake, but are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this is a scratch guy. The evil doppelganger? It must be true. Or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. Yeah, but they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. Ah, yes. It's almost like coming home, isn't it, Saga? Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground, so... Well, us fishing types appreciate you all, at least. Mind giving me a hand in helping out? Uh, I'm supervising the work. And? And it's super. The flooding is even worse here. Yes, like it is. <laughs> I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry. No, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You have seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Yeah, but he's Thanks. specifically talking about your old people, Saga. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskela owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? 
I saw Yumu and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. See you around. Okay then, catchy tune. Artie does have an amazing voice though. This watery zone, Nessie. An anonymous source sent this photograph to our editors, claiming it was captured during the last full moon. A majestic beast hidden in the depths of the water, or an elaborate prank? A sea creature that defies the very laws of nature, or a submarine relic from the Cold War era? A lonely wanderer searching for companionship and compassion, or a fearsome monster out for blood? These questions, among others, haunt our editorial team here at the Bright Falls Record after one of our avid readers sent in this mysterious photograph as evidence of an unidentified creature roaming watery's waters and making a rare but opportune appearance. This titillating spotting might just be the event of the year. As we dive deeper into this mystery, we here at the Bright Falls Record invite all our readers to a naming competition. What should our local beast be called? Watery Wonder, Shelley the Sea Monster. Send in your suggestions now. More updates and revelations to follow as the story unfolds. Welcome to Coffee World, one of a kind amusement park opens in Watery. I'm sure all of our readers know Ilmo Koskela, who, with the help of his brother Yako, has been making our small town of Watery a bustling hub with his various business ventures. The latest of these, Coffee World, has its grand opening just around the corner. I had the chance to ask Ilmo a few questions about Coffee World. Ilmo, what is Coffee World about? I'm glad you asked. Coffee World is the world's greatest coffee-themed amusement park for all ages. And right here in our hometown of Watery, it's got all the rides, thrills, and excitement you could ask for. And of course, lots of delicious fresh coffee, both hot and iced, to put that in. How did this unique business idea come about? Well, as you know, I'm all about ideas. An idealist, you could say. But what's even more important to me than my many successful businesses is our hometown. With my help, we can revitalize Watery, build its economy back up, bring the tourists back in, and enjoy ourselves in the process too. Coffee World is just as much for the townspeople as it is for the out-of-towners. Which attraction should the vis visitors be sure not to miss? Ha, oh, that's like having to choose a favorite child. It's impossible, but the slow roaster is of course a wonderful ride full of mystery and magic, and the Espresso Express is sure to give you a thrill. Also. Don't forget to drop by the Fresh Pot gift shop on your way out. You never know what treasures you might find. Coffee at least, I bet. Yes! <laughs> Moosefest meets Swami Hall, raffles karaoke and skits. Glogi, Korvapusti and Karajalan Piraka. Yeah, okay. Come one, come all. Sorry for any Finnish speaking people. Don't know the language. Wish I did, actually. Perhaps I shall learn it. Somehow. A terrifyingly strange dive into the dark depths of an artist's mind. A film by Thomas Sane, Tom the Poet, a pinprick of light in an ocean of darkness. Starring Thomas Zane as the diver, Barbara Jagger as the dark presence, Cynthia Weaver as a lady of light, Emil Hartman as the assistant. Written and directed by Thomas Zane and based on a novel by Alan Wake. Dark doppelganger in the art and life of Thomas Zane, originally Thomas Zane. 
the author guest lecture by the president of Bright Falls Film Society, Thomas Emerson. Discussing Zane's early career in Finland, his artist commune in Bright Falls, his lost work, Tom the Poet, his mysterious disappearance in 1970, playing his own dark double in his films, the poet, the writer, the diver, Thomas the Rhymer. 24th of November 2023, right here. Oh, that's Rose. Of course, that's Rose. Rose Marigold. Ah, it's a very floral name. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything I need to put away in the shoebox. But we can always do with a save. I hear grumbling. Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Stealing someone's hard-earned ammunition. Oh, whatever the grumbling was about, who knows? Enjoy your day. It's gloomy enough that you really don't need sunglasses. Okay. Hey, Saga! Over here! Yeah, I'll, I'll be with you in a minute, Ilmo and Yako. What's the point? Bridges are built so they can fall Flooding down. did this? People come into your life so they can leave. We're all born so we can die. Huh. You're a bit gloomy there, mate. I mean, I get it. The vibes here aren't wonderful. But, I mean, come on. People can't get to Coffee World. Fix the damn bridge, all right? Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Stephen go? Another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. Because they've this known you for happening. years. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? <coughs> yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's got them pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. 
Well, we're looking into it. Hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <coughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Maybe. Maybe it is. So what is Coffee World? You mean you haven't seen our commercial for it? Coffee World is a smooth blend of rides, food, and fun. We even had a real moose. Until recently. Plus, right next to Coffee World is the workshop of our own Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club. We're busy building the uh, floats for Deerfest. Don't go peeking, though. <laughs> you know, we're saving the big reveal for Deerfest. So... your commercials? They're more than commercials, Saga. Our goal is to both entertain and educate local viewers about the fine products and services we provide. And, uh... Yako here really comes alive in front of the camera. <laughs> really. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I'm just there for the free beer. Not sure what Ilmo's excuse is. Hey, I'm writer, producer, co-lead, director. Do yourself a favor and, uh, check them all out. Profiling will give me the answers. Then it is time. My first ever prank on Casey. Oh. A true classic. Fair enough. Apparently, Mayor Setta won't roll over on the issues. Casey's favorite brand tastes terrible. Uh, if you're not a whiskey person, whiskey will taste terrible. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need more than four manuscript fragments for that. Alrighty, so here we are at Coffee World. Well, near across the river from Coffee World, really. Okay. Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction. Yes, that will help. <clears throat> Logan's part in the story is that she died, I'm afraid. That's the only part she has. A trailer park is a good place to look for a trailer. Keep it simple, Saga. What Ilmo knows. 
What does Ilmo know? A lot more than he's saying. Nightingale goes sure. missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Well, I'll tell you what the connection is. The connection is you need to go back and play Alan Wake 1. Then you'll understand things. Okay. Urban Elf legend. Thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops. Brother, Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light's laughter and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilma. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spear key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Okay, well... All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'll get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded. But if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Nothing? What am I paying them for? Guess they're busy. Oi, Vito, Vito. Well, after they finally pick up, we really need to get over to Bright Falls for that, uh, thing. Yep. Must be busy at the park. These are all peak hours, Yako. They're just slacking. Yeah, okay. There's Coffee World. Need to get across the river. I'm actually thinking Coffee World can wait until next time. Where we will work out precisely why Saga is local and how is she local. That does no that's not a map. I got the map anyway. I'll at least have a look in here. Woo, health. Okay. Anyway. Hope you've enjoyed yourselves. And farewell for now. <laughs>